Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I'm gonna go over two different stories with you guys. The first one is just a really quick one. WatchOS 5 Beta 2 includes functional walkie-talkie app. So uh, this was actually one of the features that kind of made me want to think about getting back into the Apple Watch scene. Uh, I do like traditional watches a little bit better just because, you know, Apple Watches are kind of dorky, but this is a pretty cool feature nonetheless. Uh, if you just have a friend or a couple friends that you want to uh, just instantly be able to walkie-talkie uh, throughout the day, uh, or if you're just, you know, out and about, um, it's just kind of a cool thing or you control your friends that would be kind of fun too because you can pretty much just pop up on their uh, Apple watch whenever you want and say whatever you want uh, so if you're at a fancy dinner you might want to turn this off if you got douchebag friends that are gonna say something uh, but anyways I don't know I thought about uh, maybe trying that out so I don't know if you have to be um, friends in iMessage or how that works maybe it's just I think it's just contacts uh, and you also have to the other person has to be running beta 2 as well um, so I don't know maybe I'll add some of you guys and we can mess around with it um, but I just thought that was kind of cool uh, kind of neat feature so maybe I'll mess around with it on my Apple watch um, but now for the main story and that is what's new in iOS 12 beta 2 so as you all know this also got released today uh, at around 1 30 p.m pacific daylight time so about 4 30 uh, eastern time and there's no public beta yet when do i think it's going to come out uh, personally i want it to come out tomorrow but i don't think that's necessarily going to happen uh, it's been exactly 15 days since the first uh, ios 12 beta came out um, which is about on par for apple a lot of uh, what i'm reading it, a lot of people are saying that the public beta will come out at beta 3 so maybe a week, maybe two more weeks. So we'll have to see about that, but I'm really excited to get my hands on iOS 12 um, beta, whatever, public beta, because there's a lot of features that I am really excited about. So the first thing here in beta two, uh, battery usage, um, the charts are a lot better, a lot cleaner. Uh, I think it looks really good now. Next up, screen time. Uh, they removed a toggle for clearing screen time data. Tweaked it a little bit. I obviously didn't use it, uh, but I've seen plenty of screenshots. Uh, screen time by device, so you can actually, um, drill down into activity on a single device or all devices so um, you guys can kind of see a little demo of that there if you've got a bunch of different devices and you want to kind of narrow down and see which one you're on a lot and what you're doing on that device uh, you can see all of them or an individual one so i think that's cool notifications so there's a new toggle in notification section of settings that allows you to toggle off siri suggestions for individual apps not something i will use uh, password autofill uh, there's a new interface for autofilling a password saved in icloud keychain so you guys can see that here uh, it looks pretty good and uh, I like that implementation there. Voice memos has a screen sp splash screen. Uh, face ID when unlocking content using Face ID. The iPhone 10 now says scanning with Face ID. Photos, uh, the text size for the media types and albums listings in the Photos app is now much bigger, making it easier to read. Photos search, more advanced searches, uh, iPhone apps on iPad. When you open iPhone apps on the iPad like Instagram, they're now displayed in a modern device size, iPhone 6, in both 1X and 2X mode. Uh, there are also multiple known issues in the second dev beta, so keep these in mind. So the weather widget might not work, universal links might not uh, open the expected app, so that's kind of a problem. Netflix might unexpectedly quit, oh lord forbid. <laughs> Twitter might, might display a blank login screen, playback might be paused when, or might not be paused when one AirPod is removed from your ears. CarPlay might not connect to certain vehicles, group FaceTime calls can't be initiated. Uh, if from iOS 12 beta 2 and iOS beta 12 beta 1 and they might be interrupted by a poor connection message and FaceTime might unexpectedly quit. Screen time must be re-enabled after installing iOS 12 beta 2 and all screen time settings are reset upon updating. Uh, voice memos might not sync between devices even when iCloud syncing is enabled. So those are some of the bugs that are in it. There's a lot more features in here. They're tweaking all kinds of stuff like the location uh, icon up there has been tweaked. There's been a lot of uh, little icon tweaks within Safari and just throughout the OS um, with these betas. So we'll continue to see iOS 12 evolve. Really, iOS 12 is, I don't want to say a reskinned iOS 11 because I haven't personally used it yet, but a lot of it is building on iOS 11. So we don't expect there to be many bugs. And that's why the per performance of iOS 12 is just so good. Um, and that's why I'm willing, obviously, to put it on my uh, daily driver once the public beta comes out. So uh, that's all I got for this video, guys. If you liked it, hit it with a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.